Well, hello everybody and welcome to this week's Timely Fit. Now, today we are talking about a really cool topic and that's Google My Business. And if you don't know what that is, you probably actually do. And that's because when you look up a business online, you often see a profile come up about this business saying where it is, where, how you can contact them, can you book online and a bunch of pictures come up. Now, you've probably got this for your business as well, but maybe you're not utilizing it as much as you could be, considering it's a free tool and it's a really popular tool. It's how a lot of people find um, businesses around them. Now they look up sell on near me. So we want you to come up near the top here. And that's what we're talking about today. So my name is Alex. You see me on here a bit, but just in case this is your first time, I've been at Timely for an eternity now, which is about four years. And I am the community and education specialist. Um, and what that fancy term basically means is I like to help you work out how to use Timely and how to make your business better. Now, I have a really cool guest with me today all the way up in Darwin, where apparently it's a little bit stormy. Um, now, this is Steve Moore. Say hello, Steve. Hi, how is everyone? Um, Steve is absolutely fantastic. He's an expert when it comes to Google and a little bit about Steve. So Steve comes from the business More Beautiful. That's their salon, but they also have a coaching business called Bring On Salon Success, which is also known as Boss. Now, the cool thing about this business is they've been through the highs and lows of owning a salon. So the whole point of their coaching is so that they can teach you to do things in a way so that you don't have to make the mistakes and costly mistakes that they made. So they're all about making you a better business. And they do this with really interesting experience. So Dee has a background in salons, whereas what Steve has is he has a background in customer service and construction. So when he jumped ship a number of years ago to work on the business, all of that prior uh, skills and experience that he had has really helped her salon become even more award-winning. It was already award-winning, go you Dee, <laughs> but he's really added to the business and all of that. I think you told me, Steve, that you had about 50 years in total combined of customer experience oh, and customer. Wow, man, you make me feel older than I actually am. <laughs> no, it was, I think, I think, when we add it both up, I think both of us have done around the 40 year mark, 40 years in customer service between different roles that we've both done. So yeah, it's a long time, but thanks for making me feel old. <laughs> okay, sorry I had to add on an extra decade there, but I think that that's a little bit of proof in the pudding there. When you do have that customer experience, you are able to look at making your business as customer friendly as possible. And that's where Google comes in because making your Google My Business listing as, as good as possible, really, it only helps your customers. It gives them a customer experience, which is probably unparalleled if you're looking at all the other competition out there, I think, and maybe Steve, you think the same here. How many salons have a really good Google My Listing? Sorry, Google My Business. <laughs> Google My Business. Google My Look, Listing. It, it's hard to say how many actually utilize it for what it's there for. It's a free service. Um, Look, I have to be honest, I don't go stalking other people. Um, I feel like that's an invasion. Um, look, yeah, it, it's too hard to tell because a lot of people have used it, then they stop using it, and then they jump back into it again. So, look, I'd be guessing, to be honest, and I'm sorry, I don't have an answer. Yeah, no, that's all good. I, I, I love the honesty. I can say from my experience of seeing salons online is it's not something that a huge amount of people put effort into once they've set it up. So yeah. there are very few salons, um, I think, who actually keep it constantly updated. And it is a free tool and it does make a big difference um, in your business. And so what I want to ask you, Steve, is why is Google my business important oh, why is it important so when you're looking at something like google my business it's another free tool to get your name out there the big google is the biggest search engine bar none out there in, in you know in the internet world so having something that's comprehensive that people use all the time and having all your details on there it may, it's a no-brainer. It's something that you need to have. It's something that you should be using and utilizing to get your message, to get your branding, to get your name out there so that people know that you're there. 
And do you think that, like, so that's the reason why it's important, but do you think yeah. the main reason why it gets overlooked is just due to... Because honestly, it's because we have so many other platforms out there that we're constantly using, like your Facebooks, your TikToks, your Instagrams. And it does. It, it does fall by the wayside because it, you don't always monitor directly how much interaction you get from it. Um, if you know what you're looking for, though, yeah, it's a huge tool and it's something that we use constantly as well. And it is. It's something that's overlooked that gives you so much information. It gives you a massive amount of information and we'll go into because very kindly Steve has actually shared some of the analytics that he gets from his Google My Business listing. So um, I've got a little kind of video to show you in a little bit but before I show you all that really cool information about their salon more beautiful and how many people find them on Google and things like that I do want to touch on something which you've said to me previously Steve which is that when you have a fully fledged and really professional Google My Business listing, you're able to make yourself look more professional than even maybe larger or more established salons in your area. Because at the end of the day, I guess people do find you online the majority of the time first if they're looking for salons online. Yeah, so it's the big, it's that it's that new search craze. I think it's, um, we put it in the blog as well, which is it's gone up in 2019, 150%, which was, you know, that salons near me or whatever it is near me. Um, and that's gone huge. So if your listing looks better than, you know, one of the big major chains or it totally blows the water, like, you know, blows every other business out of the water, of course you're going to get more people. It's all about your um, your appearance online. It's the same with your Facebook pages and your posts. The more that you look professional, the more that you put dedication into what you're putting out there to the world, the more people are going to gravitate towards you naturally. I, I completely agree there. And like, let's say that I'm, you know, really wanting to do this now because I've been really convinced by you, Steve. Oh, How... I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say I'm, I'm yeah. really convinced. I haven't been putting a lot of effort into my listing yeah. recently. How long is it going to take me from having a kind of barren, um, listing where some like tumbleweed has just gone past <laughs> and there's a picture of a car outside and maybe there's a really really old photo of what the salon looked like seven years ago yep. how much effort and how many hours is it going to take me to turn this listing into a listing that beats all my competitors look with a glass with a sorry I shouldn't say glass with a bottle of wine You'd be looking at tops, maybe two hours, like absolute tops to actually get it up there. By the time you upload pictures, put all your, you know, start and finish times in there, services, uh, products that you list and really link it in as well as, of course, you've got to put your timely booking link in there as well. Once you do all that, two or three hours and, you know, a bottle of wine or three, um, <laughs> you know, you're set. You're, you are ready to go and you are going to blow that everyone else in your area out of the water, 100%. Huh. Okay, well, yeah, a, a bottle of good wine. So a bottle of good wine and then um, just get onto it. Okay, so let's say I put the two hours in. Yep. I've had a really nice um, Mornington Peninsula um, Chardonnay, for example. Now that I've done this, mm -hmm. how often do I need to update it and how much time should I spend on it each week? <sighs> It's, that's like Facebook. How many posts did you put a week in Facebook? The recommendation with Facebook is at least once a, once a day, okay? So with my... Google likes having consistency and knowing that you are constant and it doesn't like the amount of change that you do with, with Facebook. So with that case, I'd be doing probably... I wouldn't go more than about one app or one post per week and it takes you... Oh, it's quicker than Facebook, to be honest, to put a post up there. For me, it yeah, it takes all of about 33 seconds and you're good to go. So, and yeah, you can even use the stuff that you put on Facebook or Instagram. It really, it's simple, it's easy. And I, like I said, I think it's quicker than Facebook. I think that's really good. Like if you're already doing, for example, a promotional post um, for Facebook or for Instagram, maybe something that's going to last a little bit longer. So something yeah. maybe that you're doing for the month. Put that on Google. Would you put something on Google that you would 
like maybe a promotion you'd have up for a week or do you think it's better to have like longer specials or longer promotions a lot of look a lot of the ones that we like putting up on on google my business is a lot to do with the shop or the experience so it's ones that it doesn't matter if people go back and go oh no you had a special here 12 months ago it's more so the ones of what um the client experience is like what is what we call it so that's the ones that we like to put up on google my business if we are having a like a flash sale or you know we need to get something out there really quickly and for a short period of time we can also put that up but then we make sure we bring it back down again as well okay so make sure that if you are doing specials or any kind of limited information that you take it down when it's no longer necessary yeah just so it just just so it doesn't clutter it up because just like Facebook, people will scroll through and you don't want them getting confused. Yeah, I think that's really fair. Now, I do have um, something pretty cool to share with you all that I did say I was going to share with you. And this is Steve's information that he gets from his Google My Business. Now, I'm just going to quickly share my screen so that you can see what kind of information he shares along with the information that he gets back from Google. And this is what I think makes it worth it. If you don't think that Google's worth it, trust me, the reports are worth it because it shows you how you're doing up against your competitors, which I think is really cool and really sneaky. <laughs> okay, now, Steve, can you um, see my screen here? I can. And that yeah. face looks horrible. Um, that's my face, not yours. Look, I was just about to say what good-looking faces I see there. Oh, no, that's long <laughs> hair and long beard. That's horrible. Well, I, I love a bearded man. <laughs> anyway, let me just take you through to the more beautiful Google listing here. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the Google listing. You can see he's got a number of re reviews here. He's got uh, photos on here. So this is an update that he's created. Now, when I took the screenshot, that was 22 hours ago. So he isn't just talking out of his ass. He actually does believe in updating this regularly. So take note, everybody. This is really good advice. Now, we've got photos in here as well that he sells in store. And we've got photos of everything. So those are products that he was selling. And these are photos of what it's like inside their beautiful salon. So this is really good information. It looks fantastic, Steve, I have to say. I must admit now that you've actually shown me this, I do have to do our newest. We've just done a big, massive change at the front. So I do need to update a couple of little photos here. Yes, that's really true. Like if your salon looks any different and someone would be looking at the salon outside now and go, oh, that doesn't look exactly what I'm seeing right now, then definitely continue to update your photos. Now we've got a bit of information here. So this is Google My Business and we are just about to click on Insights. So this is, this is things that you already have access to in Google and you can see here now, Steve's done me a massive favor of doing a bit of a screen record on all of these reports so you can see what information you can get from them. So I'm just going to play this out for you. So um, this is just a huge amount of information that you can get. And how do you use this kind of information, Steve? So a lot of this, it shows a little bit later on, but a lot of this I'll actually use with perception. So when I know that where our peak, peak periods are, um, a little bit later, it's going to show you phone calls. Um, so, you know, when I know, I know that I need to have receptionist on, when I know that the phones are going to start going crazy, when our peak times are that um, people are coming through the website, I use both Timely um, and also Google My Business just to get all the information that I possibly can. Um, the other thing is, especially with this one here, it's actually showing me where people are getting directions from. So in case, especially with this one, it's good because if I'm not advertising a certain area, but I'm seeing a whole ton of people coming in from that area, that's where I may need to change my marketing strategy. Um, so I'm targeting people in that area because I know that they're actually willing to drive. So that one's a really, really good one as well. Um, what else was, yeah, so this is the phone calls that we were talking about. Um, you know, when the peak times are, so you can see there like Tuesday is a peak time for us to be getting phone calls. So I know that I have to have my staff, you know, a receptionist on at that time. Yeah, Again, and proof of the week. pudding. Yeah. You can see it right here. 
and these aren't every single call you're getting, but these are people who are looking up salons near me or they're looking up more beautiful and then they're calling straight from Google. That's right. So that's yeah. when you click call and then it automatically pop, pre-populates the number into their phone. So that's the starter. It's not reflecting every single phone call, but it is reflecting everything from Google. So yeah. it does show that if your listing's working really, really well, then you should be getting the calls increase, I would imagine. Yeah, you'll start to be able to monitor what's going on behind the scenes, like phone calls, where people are driving from, um, a little bit further on, actually, I think it was that last one, but you can see, or here, you know, people that are looking at your photos. Mm -hmm. So the more photos that we have, you can see what businesses in my area like us, you can see how much people are looking at them and then compared to us, like, I think that's what, four times, three times the amount. Yeah. I mean, 217% more views and similar business. And oh, there you go. in your, um, and it says post more to stay ahead. So that's really, it's a good tip there from Google, but in terms of, uh, you know, we know that when someone looks at something for long enough, they only become more and more convinced. So the longer you have people looking through your photos, the more they're stalking you on Google, <laughs> on Facebook, on Instagram, the more chance you actually have having a lead that turns into a sale and then maybe an, a long-term customer. That's right. So, yeah. And also just to add to that one as well, they say on average, it takes a person to view your ad or your post or your information nine times before they'll actually act on it. There you go. Yeah. So if you've got a lot of things that they can stalk through, <laughs> then, <laughs> then maybe you're speeding yourself through that nine times because they're just going blink, 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 yep. and just looking through all of your photos. <laughs> I think that this is really cool and you can also see businesses like you which I think is like we never know really what's going on in other businesses lives right but this is really good information from Google saying your customers or people who are looking at your page are looking longer right there's more of them and they're looking longer That's so awesome. I think that that's whatever that turns into which I imagine is a growing business I think that that's good news between now, growing growing business and also just showing that you are still you know relevant in people's lives because they keep looking you up yeah very true and this is that also the monthly email that you get as well from yeah google my so business. once yeah once you set up google my business will actually send you out an email i think it's the second week of the month and it does a review of what's happened you know the previous month so you know how many people have asked directions who's called you how many visits have, have gone from Google to your website? Um, if I was running ads through Google, which I don't at the moment, um, it would show you the ads as well. Um, obviously, it's telling me to create the ads and also any reviews that we've gotten through as well. And so it's a really good snapshot without having to jump into the actual online platform just to see how your business is going for the week. So you can see there that we're, you know, Ask for directions. We've gone up 6.1% since February. Yeah. And it would be really interesting for other people who are looking at doing this now to save that email. Because if you're already getting these emails from Google, save one from the past or at the moment, do a big improvement on your Google listing and then see in a couple of months what results you're getting. Because even if you're not checking every single day, looking and through the insights, maybe like like Steve said, you don't have the time for it. You're already stretched across Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and maybe even Snapchat. I'm not on Snapchat anymore, so I don't know if that's alive. I'm pretty sure it still is. But it does get tiring to kind of check every single thing. So even if you're just getting that email and you're just updating it and you're not looking through the statistics that you get, I think that that's enough to tell you that you're on the right path. Yeah, yeah 100%. It, 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 it's adding to your other marketing strategies. So, you know, people might see something on Facebook, but then they don't act on it in Facebook, but then they look up, look you up in, in Google. So, you know, having that information and seeing, having it assist your other marketing strategies, I think it's, you know, it's a waste if you're not using it. Yeah. So the more people that can get onto it, and it's just, 
it's not hard to read. Like you saw the information, like you showed the information there. It's not hard to read. It's, you don't need a, it's not like um, Google Analytics where you need a degree to actually understand half the information that's coming through. Yeah. Um, you know, it's very simple. It's very straightforward, but it's mm -hmm. effective. And it does, it pops up, you know, it pops up on the right hand side of the screen. When someone types your name in, they can see all the information. They can see if you're open, they can get your phone number, they can get directions straight away as well. Yeah, I just, I, I think like you said there, Steve, it's not like a lot of things in Google are hard to use. This <laughs> isn't hard to use, it's easy to use. It yeah. will give you results immediately. I know so many people really struggle with getting their Facebook and their Instagram to work for them but this is one of those things where if someone is looking up sell on near me they don't even have to be looking up your name that's right. this is a cool thing they, that they can find you and that's not really the case with Instagram and Facebook so it's worth putting the time into it I mean I would personally even say with everything that's gone on in social media in the last um year of you know certain businesses being completely taken off social media i know there was a bit of talk about that in the community that it really is important to rely on as many sources as possible not just social media but your website and also google to bring business to you because sometimes social media can be really volatile and a lot of the time i know people do struggle with paying a lot to make it work for them and it's still not working for them so I think Google is, is, is a good way to get people in to see you and grow your business and you don't have to spend, I mean, what, what do you think there, Steve? Look, it's free. You can yeah, pay okay. for it, but it, it, it is free. It's, Facebook showed us at the start of the year that they were prepared to turn off ads for news companies. Yeah. So if Facebook's willing to do that, what's your backup strategy? Because Facebook owns Instagram. So you've got the world's largest search program there offering you a free service to have your business advertised. Why not take it? Yeah. And it is. It's another, it's a backup source. If Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat all of a sudden get turned off, what do you do then? Mm. I think even during an apocalypse, Google would still be around. Google and the cockroaches. <laughs> I'm Someone would have convinced. saved the page. How do I do this? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. The last people on the earth looking for salons. Um, now, we have gone through a bunch of information here, and I'm really pleased with what we've been able to go through in just over 20 minutes. Um, but I have seen a couple of questions in here, which I think is really good. One from Christopher, who says, I've moved into a new area. I've just had my business for 13 years. Would you recommend branching out to the local community? And I'll add on to that question by saying, how can they do that with Google? So you, need, you do need to update your Google profile. So I do have a few students that have had a few issues with this because Google can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but make sure that your listing is updated with the new address. And put you can put, um, let me just triple check, but you can put promotions on your, you've got different types of posts that you can put onto Google your business, so, or Google My Business. So you've got um, ad offers, ad events, products, updates, and then of course, like everyone else, there's a COVID post there as well. So you put those offers out there, put it out to your out to your local area. If you want to, you can go down the AdWords um, route. I personally have not at this stage, but that option is always there. So yeah, I think get into it, but make sure that you update your address and also update all of your details in there so that your local area knows about you because that is one of the hardest parts of it okay i think that's fantastic advice yeah um so i hope that's really helpful for you christopher just make sure that you answered it right no you know i i, I believe you have and there's <laughs> michael spicer has just said google is the future overlord i do not disagree with you there <laughs> christopher. is that already oh, currently like, I mean, Facebook's probably trying to catch up, but I'm pretty sure Google still wins. Yeah, I believe so too. And I've got <laughs> another question here from Annabelle who says, would you recommend having professional photos taken of the salon to use on Google? Now, I think this is a oh, good question. It is a very good question. If you actually have a look at the photos that we have on our more beautiful page, they are all professionally done. Don't mm -hmm. ever ask me to do a photo because I suck at it so bad. Like, I get told day in, day out, I should never take photos. Look, 
you can get put it out to your local marketplaces on Facebook or put it out to your local you know community groups about getting someone that's doing a photography course to come through and do those professional photos. Yeah. Usually it's only a couple of hundred bucks. They spend an hour or so in the salon and it just it adds that next level to what you're putting out there to the world. You want your the first page of what people are seeing, you want it to be the best you could possibly be. Mm-hmm. So I think professional photos, 100%. I love that advice because, I mean, you can't redo a first impression really. No. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about, you know, trying to redo a first impression, but it really, it's really hard to do. So when you're doing this, like, it really doesn't have to be expensive. There are loads of, um, like Steve says, you can get people who are studying photography. You can get people who it's just their hobby. I know a whole bunch of friends who do it as their hobby and they've got, you know, over $25,000 worth of equipment just because they love, you know, photography. So you'd be surprised who's out there and how little it can cost. Some professional photographers will charge you thousands, but you'd get a you know, you get a different but also really good result by using someone who's an amateur photographer or someone who is studying to be a photographer. So don't think that it's out of reach because I think you'd be surprised. And, you know, worst comes to worst, ask your friend who has the best iPhone or best Samsung or newest one to come in, turn on all the lights on, get a couple of light rings in there as well and, you know, get the 13-year-old who's really good with their phone to take the photos. So I'll give you another little little tip on that one as well. Real estate photographers. They don't charge much and they know how to take photos of rooms. Oh, okay. Well, they're probably very quick at it as well. Yes, that's what their jobs are. And yeah, they 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 actually do it. I'm pretty sure the ones on our on our Google My Business was actually done by a real estate photographer. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay, so there's some really good advice for everybody here. And this is not just all the advice that you can get from Steve. As we mentioned, when we first jumped on here, he does have the coaching business with his wife, Dee, called Bring On Salon Success, otherwise known as Boss. Now, if we wanted to contact you and say, look, okay, the Google advice here is really good. Um, I know, Steve, you've also got some optimizing timely services, which you offer as well, because you and your salon, you use timely for, I think, your coaching and for your salon. So if we want to um, contact you about just salon life in general, I know you specialize in beauty and eyelashes. let's how do we get in contact with you where's the best place yeah so the best one for us is straight through facebook i know i've been talking about google all all afternoon but (laughs) it's facebook um if you jump on do a search for bring on salon success um and you'll see my mugshot and d's mugshot out the front of our shop so you'll see our faces it is one of the banners and just drop us a message through our um our business page and yeah we'll get back to you usually within about 20 minutes because we live on our phones and computers and all the rest of it um the other way is obviously if you want to have a look at what we do and and you know what we preach have a look at our website at bring on and there's a stack of information on there as well that's awesome thank you so much steve and i do have <laughs> we've got sarah jane love in the comments oh, yes. i've been has waiting said... for her name to pop up who says um, it's my favourite toad? Now I have no idea what that means, <laughs> um, but I imagine that toads and cockroaches and Google will all survive the apocalypse. So <laughs> maybe it's to do with that, or maybe it's some inside joke. But she's I actually one of our coaching students, or she was oh, one she? of our coaching students. Um, and I, I set a task for her for gratitude, and um, yes, she's getting me back for setting a very difficult task for her. <laughs> Oh, is this the eat a toad in the morning or eat a frog in the morning? Uh, no, it's the five gratitude. Uh, what is it? The five gratitude lists five things, things that you're grateful for. And okay. so instead of it being gratitude, she turned it to gratitude. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, well, everyone loves a coach with um, a sense of humor. So I'm glad we've. <laughs> uh, and she has just said this man is worth his weight in gold if anyone oh, wants to know thanks, for real. So that's really kind of you, Sarah. Yeah, she's just a gratitude. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Steve, for coming on and talking to us about 
Google my business or like I have said so many times today by accident, Google my listing. It's actually called a Google listing and we're talking about Google my business. Um, but you know, it's um, no, just, it's just type in something will come up. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just something will come up if you Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Um, thank you for everybody who popped online. This, of course, will be available for you to watch at any time. Um, and if you've got any questions, Steve and I will be um, in the comments. So just tag myself, Alex Timely, on Google or just tag Steve Moore um, and we'll be able to answer any questions that you've got. So awesome. thanks, everybody. And any last message from you, Steve? Take time out for yourself. Make sure you don't run yourself into the ground. Amen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Running three businesses, that's the one piece of advice I can tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, take time out for yourself. I appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. And um, we will be back next week with another Timely Fit. And Annabelle um, will be looking after that one. So thanks, everybody, and catch you later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.